a windy day. You can sure say that again, Custard, my friend. Okay, what a windy day. A very windy day indeed. What? And just what precisely exactly is that? Hey, are you okay out there? When I open the window, you slide down. <coughs> Goodness, what happened? Are you all right? Well, I've been blown miles and miles, of course, and the queen's going to be furious. But otherwise, I'm just fine. I'm Strawberry Shortcake, and this is my friend Ginger Snap, and this is Custard, and that's Pupcake over there. I'm Sherry Bobbleberry, FWFPFC. Fairy World Fairy Princess First Class? Fourth Class. <sighs> and after this, oh, I'll never make First Class. What happened to you, huh, Sherry Bobbleberry? I was on an errand for the Queen. Very important errand, mind you. Delivering a gift for a baby hummingbird. I, I speak hummingbird, you see. Not many do. <laughs> <laughs> then, the wind caught me and blew me out of the berry fairy fields and all the way here. Problem is, it was a sort of test. The queen doesn't think I'm ready to be promoted. Don't ask me why. <sighs> I don't think we have to ask why. I'll never be a fairy first class. Oh. I'll never get that tiara. Sounds like you need to have some more faith in yourself. Oh, I forgot. What a goof! Oh, how could I forget? Forgot what? Up, up there in the mountains! The snow is melting and the river's rising! Water everywhere! There's gonna be a flood! Have to get back! Have to warn! <gasps> but I can't! I'll just get blown off course again! The whole Berry Fairy world will be flooded! Oh, what a useless goof I am! We could help her get back, couldn't we? She could show us the way. Do you think, Strawberry Shortcake? What if she gets us lost? She needs our help, Ginger Snap. Oh, how far are the berry fairy fields? They're just past Buttermilk Forest. Then we hang our right at Jelly Bean Hill. Or is it left at the hill, right at the forest? Or just past Rock Candy Canyon? Um, you do know where you live, don't you, Sherry Bobbleberry? Of course. Right this way. Huh? Hmm, maybe not right this way. You said you speak Hummingbird. Maybe you could ask her. Well, you know, I only sort of speak it. Sort of lot or sort of little? Sort of, don't know. See, no fairy has ever spoken to the hummingbirds before. I'm just trying to learn. Maybe now's a good time to give it a try. Guess it couldn't hurt. I excuse me, little hummingbird? She said, the berry fairy fields are right over Gumball Bluff. Just a little farther. We're almost to the top. Just a few more gumballs. Ugh, yep, I can see the top I can. You can do it. We made it. We're at the top. Sherry, we'll find a way out of this. We're all okay. Looks like the storm's letting up, huh? For a while, anyway. When the snow melts, it's gonna really flood the berry fairy fields. How much further is it? It's right down at the bottom of this hill. You can fly, Sherry, but it's gonna take us a while to get there. Maybe. 
and maybe not. If there was something we could use as a sled, so you could slide down the hill. Got it! I'll build a sled out of what we have here. Come on, give me a hand. That ought to... <clears throat> do it. Is it gonna hold together? Only one way to find out. Climb on, everybody. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> <laughs> How do you stop this thing anyway? No, I forgot something. Everybody okay? Pretty much? More or less? <gasps> Strawberry, Ginger, what happened to you? What happened to us? What happened to you? Either the berries grow awful big around here or... We shrunk! You had to become smaller to fit into my world. Come with me. Oh, my goodness! Wow, mm. would you look at that, huh? Amazing, huh? Look! More pretty fairies! And just look at all the creatures helping out! No one from your world has ever been here. You're not supposed to even know about it. That'd be Fairy Most Berry Fairy Chief, Perry Winkle Pear Blossom. Sherry Bobbleberry, where have you been? And, and, and who are they? These are my friends. I, I brought them here after they... You brought outsiders to the fairy world? That's against the rules! But they helped me, Perry Winkle, to get back so I could warn everyone about... Rules have been broken! The Queen will be told! Oh, please, Perry Winkle. Not that! If she knows I goofed again, I'll never get promoted! I'll never get my tiara! But you have important news for her! <laughs> Fourth class fairies don't talk to the queen! It's against the rules! Only I talk to the queen! What am I going to do now? Don't worry, Sherry. We'll think of something. What if you warn them? One by one, what's about to happen? Do you think I can? I mean, I'm... Uh, I excuse me, please. Oh, I'm such a goof. Sorry. <laughs> you gotta have some faith in yourself, Sherry. But I wouldn't know where to start. Why don't you start with them? Okay, I'll try. Excuse me. Excuse me. Go on, keep trying. Excuse me! I have to warn you, there's a... Oh, it's just Sherry. Don't pay any attention to her. Such a little goof. Please, you have to listen. It's important, it's... Can do it. You can do it. I know you can. And I know I can't. Everything I touch turns into mush. Every berry that I pick, I crush. Each balloon I hold, it pops. I pick up a plate, it drops. Everything I touch turns into mush. Everything I touch turns into mush. All my best laid plans, I have to flush. I am such a gawky goof, why should be more sherry proof? Everything I touch turns into mush. I'm an accident, waiting for a turn. I'm unsafe at any speed. If they gave out a prize, the only one I'd earn would be most least likely to succeed. <sighs> Everything I touch turns into mush. I put my finger in the dike, it starts to gush. I'm so clumsy, don't you know? I can trip and stub your toe. It's enough to make a fairy blush. Turns into mush, but there's so much good. 
I want to achieve. If only I could change, be somebody new. But for this faulty fairy, it's so hard to believe. Everything I touch turns into mush. Lady Luck has given me the brush. What could I be doing wrong? Who can help me sing this song? Tell me, am I asking all that much? That everything I touch doesn't turn into mush. What's that, Strawberry? An invitation to a royal party for Her Royal Highness, Queen of the Fairies, on her birthday. It says everyone in the fairy world is invited to bring a gift. Sherry, I think I found the answer to our problem. Really? Fairies of the fairy world, you may now present your present to Her Royal Highness. Do you strawberry shortcake? I sure hope so. Next! Next! Your Majesty, I... I... Bobbleberry, where's your gift for the Queen? <gasps> Go on, Sherry. Well, I don't have one. But I do have something I... <gasps> I have something more important. What could be more important than a gift for the Queen's birthday? My warning! You see the creek beyond the field? Beyond the field? But fairy fairies are not supposed to go there! The wind blew me off course and I... <laughs> Why should the Queen listen to a fourth-class fairy who can't stay on course? She should listen because Sherry has something important to say! Go on, Sherry. What's the point, Strawberry? She wants to tell you the creek is rising and there's going to be a terrible flood. And you saw this with your own eyes, did you? Well, no. Not me. Not exactly. <laughs> you see, Strawberry? Hopeless. Sherry, come back! Periwinkle? Of course, Your Highness. I was just going to suggest that. The flood, Your Highness, is coming closer and quickly. It's spreading over the fields even now. Oh, not again. Don't try to scare us. There's not a cloud in the sky. 
We saw it too! If you don't get ready now, you're going to be in awful trouble! What should we do, Sherry? We can dig ditches and build dams and keep the water out of our homes! Can we do this in time? With all of us working together, yes! Maybe the hummingbirds can help too! Ha! <laughs> hummingbirds! And I suppose Sherry will ask them for us, eh? Yes, I will! As your highness knows very well, no fairy can talk to hummingbirds! is a waste of Her Highness's royal time. Sherry can't talk to. <gasps> hum, 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 hummingbirds? Sherry Bumbleberry, tell us what to do. We have to protect the city. Come with me. We have to build a dam here. Good and high and now. And a ditch here, a deep one. Arp, arp. We need sandbags here, here, and here. Mm. Not gonna work in a million, billion, trillion, zillion years. <sighs> Your royal highness is getting her royal self dirty. Oh, quit talking and help us, Periwinkle. That's just what I was going to do. All right, Periwinkle. Oh, my! Out of time. Oh, this is it. It's coming! The flood's coming! Everyone, get out of the way! Working. Our dam is working. Something Bobbleberry did is working. Did you ever doubt her, Periwinkle? <laughs> Sherry Bobbleberry, I hereby proclaim you FWF PFC Fairy World Fairy Princess First Class. <laughs> You got your tiara, Sherry. You did it. I did, Strawberry. I did do it. The legend of Sherry Bobbleberry, fairy princess, fourth class. A tale of glorious victory that barely came to pass. It was a sunny day in the fairy fairy fields when the wind blew with great force. And a fairy named Sherry Bobbleberry was blown away. of a flood she'd seen. So she sailed on the sled to the fairy, fairy fields to warn all the fairies and their queen. The legend of Sherry Bobbleberry, fairy princess, fourth class. Would she save her queen from the flood so mighty? Or would safety come to pass? But in the fairy world of the fairy vines, no fairy would believe her. And the royal queen of the fairies herself refused to she flew to the belly of the bloody muddy beast And her friends helped build a dam But when that was not enough she wasn't bothered in the least It was a chance to prove who I am So she flew back to the queen saying, now see what I mean And together they all stopped the flood They followed Sherry's lead, the queen herself took heed Her name was now no longer mud The legend of Sherry Bobbleberry <laughs> P 
Patience, Pupcake, patience. They'll drop some food sooner or later, and when they do, it's ours. On your right, coming through. Watch your back. Strawberry, strawberry. Oh, whoa, ah! Phew. Whoa, think you got enough boxes of cookies there, Strawberry Shortcake? Well, yeah, I think so. Oh, fresh and home-baked. Strawberry! Whoa! Oh, no! Bravo! Again! <laughs> oh, Apple Dumplin. Sorry. Now some of these cookies are ruined. What do you want, Apple Dumplin? I want to help, Strawberry. Oh, well, no. I, I don't think so, Apple Dumplin. Aw, please. You're a little too... little, you know? Why don't you sit and watch us cook, okay? Okay... <sighs> we can show you all about cooking! How's that sound? All right, Strawberry. First, we'll start with some very important kitchen safety rules. Number one, and most very important of all, always ask a grown-up before you do anything in the kitchen. Next, be sure to read through the whole recipe before you start, so you can make sure you have all the ingredients and all the supplies you need. And be sure to wash your hands with soap and water before you touch the food. When you measure the ingredients, be sure to do it very carefully. Always follow each and every step of the recipe. Wash all fruits and vegetables before you use them. Be careful, because some foods, like meat and chicken and eggs, can have germs on them. Use different knives and cutting boards when you're fixing these. And wash your hands when you're done fixing them. You gotta remember to keep cold foods cold and hot foods hot. That keeps germs from growing. If there's leftover food, cover it and store it in the refrigerator or freezer. Always wear the right clothes, like shoes and an apron. If you have on long sleeves, push them up. Oh, and make sure your hair's out of the way. Never try to put anything in the oven without an adult's help. Hot food in the oven and the stove can cause very painful burns. So we use oven mitts or pot holders to protect our hands. Turn the handles of pots and pans away from you so you don't accidentally knock them over. And make sure those handles aren't over a burner. They can get very hot. And clean up as you go. It's much easier and much safer that way. And now, if everybody's ready... Ready! Let's wash our hands and get going. What now, huh? Strawberry Shortcake, where do we start? What do we do first? Well, we... Now I help. <laughs> I don't think you're ready quite yet. Apple Dumpin' wanna learn. Well... Maybe you could help a little bit. You can help, um... I know, you can help by getting the wax paper ready, okay? We need just enough to cover this tray. Uh-oh. I got it, I got it! Don't got it. Watch out! Get it! Yay! Oh. Mm. Almost had it. I got it! There it goes! Whoops! That enough? Yeah. I think that's plenty, Apple Dumplin. Oh, Dumplin, just look at the mess you made. <laughs> Yo! Oh, sorry. I think maybe she's helped enough, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? But I... Maybe it'd be better if you just watched, Apple Dumplin'. Wanna help? Why don't you find a place where you won't get into trouble? But, yeah, maybe you ought to take a nap, huh? Isn't it about nap time? But I'm not sweepy. Maybe you ought to wait over there, Apple Dumplin'. You know, working in the kitchen can be dangerous. Yeah, it's not a job for babies. Angel cake? Apple Dumplin' not a baby. <laughs> There's nuts I can do. If they let me. I am not. 
Aw, baby. I'm not too little, I'm not, I'm not. They think I'm little, just a tiny tot. But I'll show them that I'm not too small, and I can do any, any, anything at all. Cause I'm not little, not too little. Oh no, I'm not. Watch how I can tie my shoes. Wait, I'll try again. I know how to count to ten. One, five, nine, six, ten. I do lots of big girl things like run and jump and play. It's plain to see I'm practically grown up in every way. I'm not too little, I'm not, I'm not. I wish they'd trust me to stir the pot. Cause I'd show them that I'm not too small. And I can do any, any, anything at all. Cause I'm not little, not too little. Oh no, I'm not. I know 50 rainbow colors, red, blue, green, and red. I can take my big red ball and bounce it off my head. Ow! I pick flowers like the grown-ups do and roll downhill all day. And did I mention how I love to run and jump and play? Oh, I'm not too little, I'm not, I'm not. They treat me little, but I'm not a lot. If I show them that I'm not too small, they'll let me do any, any, anything at all. Cause I'm not little, not too little. Oh no, I'm not. My own clothes myself. I can wiggle my own toes myself. I can climb up on the couch myself. Make the pillows like a kangaroo's pouch myself. Then I can crawl inside myself and close my eyes and hide myself and dream of things to be tried myself. I'm not too little, not too little. Oh no, I'm not. <sighs> Look, Strawberry! I'm a big girl, too! <laughs> Where did these babies come from? Strawberry, come look! Oh, little baby, are you Strawberry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Strawberry, it is you! <laughs> what am I gonna do? Who will take care of these babies? Gotta think, gotta think, gotta think. Well, I guess Apple Dumpling will take care of the babies. Apple Dumpling's big now. That's right. Apple Dumplin's the big kid now. And you babies are little. I am the little. Huh? Now, you do like Dumplin says, okay, Orange Blossom? <laughs> <laughs> and Dumplin does not need a nap. Isn't that right, Ginger Snap? Goo 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 ga? And now we will bake a cake, okay? <laughs> We'll bake a cake. First, we need. Mmm, berries! <laughs> that smells good, hmm. Ew. No, that doesn't smell good. That doesn't smell good at all. <laughs> Baby Ginger Step, is that you? <laughs> oh, Baby Ginger Snap. Yuck! Baby Ginger Snap. You go change that diaper right now. <laughs> oh, baby Ginger Snap, Apple Dumplin' will help you. Please, baby Ginger Snap, don't ever do that again. Okay, now we'll bake a cake. <gasps> oh no! The babies! <laughs> Strawberry. <laughs> Messy baby angel cake. No, no, baby 
orange blossom. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's not very helpful, baby ginger snap. Come on, time to cook. The very first of all. <laughs> baby strawberry, don't eat off the floor. <laughs>
Go to sleep now. Uh-uh. No way. Uh-uh. Forget it. Oh. Would you baby sleep if I read you a story? Ah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Now, ahem. Once upon a time... <laughs> reading a story always works for babies. <sighs> Once upon a time... <sighs> so it's kind of soft. We add a scoop on top of each cookie, just like this. Then we add another cookie, top side up, on each one, and we press them together. Then we cover the whole thing with more wax paper. And we put them in the freezer until they're good and frozen again. About two hours. Here's some we already made. Now what's up about right now, what? Well, now we eat them. Yummy. Here you go, Apple Dumpling. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Thank you, thank you. Don't mind if I do. Mm, looks delicious. My favorite. I can't believe it. They didn't drop a single bit. <laughs> no, but I did find a special pet treat just for you. I knew you wouldn't forget us, Strawberry. <laughs> Arc! 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 
<gasps> Look at all the berry buds, Custard. See how they're ready to explode into flowers? They'll be more than just blossoms any second. Uh-oh! Oh, no! <laughs> you know, we ought to do something. Something to celebrate. But what could we do? Oh! I have a very big idea! We can have a festival! A very big berry blossom festival! I can just see it! A wondrous big party with flowers and food and music and crafts and all our friends from Strawberry Land! Well, what do you think? <laughs> Me, I think something will go wrong like it always does. <laughs> Custard, don't be so gloomy. Come on, there's lots to do. Well, what do you think? We'll have our own first ever once a yearly Berry Big Berry Blossom Festival. <gasps> oh boy! <gasps> Sounds fun! <laughs> oh yeah! Yes, I am so into that. Sounds great, me too! I like it, I surely do, yes indeed! We could have a band! We could give a show! Hold on, stand back, let me think. I can build a stage that turns and goes up and goes down, and you can give your show there. I can make all kinds of juices for everyone. I could do the decorations. Perfect! It'll be the very best festival ever! But you know, there's still something missing. Like what, Blueberry Muffin? Like a, hmm, like a queen. For the festival, we can have a berry blossom queen. Yeah! Terrific! Super idea! I like it! A queen! That's great! We can start the whole thing with the fabulously fancy formal tea party! I have a great old book that tells all about putting on parties. Come on, let's check it out! I better get started on the decorations! There's a lot to do to get ready! Bye! See you later! Alright, bye! Ooh! I'll start making posters! This is going to be the greatest thing ever! Pencil, please! Don't you think, hot chocolate? It's going to have lights! Pencil, please! A rotating platform rises up here! Pencil! It turns up here and all these little lights will blink like crazy! Pencil, please! Right here, Orange Marmalade! Thanks for the help, Orange Marmalade! to the Berry Big Berry Blossom Festival. What do you think? I think everyone who's anyone in Strawberry Land will be there. Hey, everybody! Hi, Hi Angel, Angel Cake. Cake! What you got, Angel Cake? Here you go, and one for you, here's one for you, and you, and you too. But what are they, Angel Cake? Invitations to the tea party. It's going to be very fancy, very formal. I hope you all have something nice to wear. Fancier than this? I don't have a whole lot of nice stuff. If you want, you can borrow something from my collection of dress-up clothes. That's perfect, thank you, Blueberry. I'll help everybody pick some nice clothes. Here's my closet. I have green and yellow and blue and pink. Ooh, I like this. Can I try this one? That looks so cute on you. I like yellow. Hey, sorry I'm late. Okay, Raspberry's here. Now we can get started. <laughs> Uh-oh, look at the time. I still have a lot to get ready for the party. Um, uh, 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 gee, don't know how to say this, but the truth is, I don't know much about these fancy formal things, like which fork to use and when and why and how, you know? I don't either. Hey, no problem. I can teach you. We'll have a little pretend practice party, okay? Sure. Great. Sounds like a plan. I like it. Yes, let's do this. Good idea. Okay, please have a seat, everyone. 
The tea party is about to begin. First, we put our napkins in our laps. Uh, I didn't get a napkin. Me neither. We're pretending, remember? Watch, I pick up my napkin and daintily set it on my lap. Right, I got it. Ever so neatly now. Oh, this is ridiculous. Blueberry Muffin, would you like to pass the sandwiches, please? My pleasure, Angel Cake. Here you are. Sandwich, Ginger Snap? Mmm, delicious. So light and airy. Thank you, Ginger Snap. Sandwich lemon meringue? Give me one of those, will ya? Hey, who put that there? Oh, no, Raspberry. That's not the way it's done. We never reach. Oh. Sorry. And we don't talk with our mouths full. It's not real food. Still, it's bad manners, and manners matter. Oh, well, who cares anyway? I don't want to be bothered with all this manners nonsense. It would be kind of nice if you were a little more polite. Yeah, I agree. And me sort of, too. Hmph. Manners don't matter. But they do, Raspberry. Prove it. Hey, if you can't prove to me that manners matter, well, then you can count me out of your party. Fine, then. This isn't a very fun party. Wait, Raspberry! I have an idea. We'll have two parties, and you can come to bowl. And what's the point of that? When we're done, you can tell us which one you like better. Well, okay but I don't understand why. I think you'll understand very soon. <laughs> two parties. <laughs> What's two parties gonna prove? So just what is this great idea of yours, huh, Strawberry Shortcake? Yeah, how are we ever gonna make her see that manners matter? Here's the plan. We put on two parties. At one, we have no manners at all, but at the other one, We'll have perfect manners. Raspberry will see which one is more fun. Hmm? Well... Huh? How? I don't know. Guess it might work. Then come on, let's get going. I just don't see what their problem is. There's nothing so bad about my manners. My friends are highfalutin and hoity-toity too But there's no disputing that day tea just won't do Some tell you mind your manners, but here's what I believe If you're supposed to use a napkin, then why'd you have a sleeve? Oh man, oh man, oh manners, what's a great big deal? I tell you manners don't matter as much as what you feel Oh man, oh man, oh manners, manners are no fun Cause manners are like rules, it's better to have none And if I feel like slurping, well who's it gonna hurt? First, I have dessert, and what would please and thank you? It's best just to take. Oh, people who have manners are just phony and so fake. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, it's a great big deal. Do they make the day go better? Do they make a taste or meal? No, I'd rather think of manners as a job that others do. Then it's just like everyone is working just for you. Across the table, won't even try to share. I'll eat with just my fingers, I'll stand up in my chair. And if that makes him angry, that's how it's gonna be. Cause the only one I care about is me, myself, and me. Oh man, oh man, oh manners, what's the great big deal? I mean, I mean, oh manners, I mean, just being real. Oh man, oh man, oh manners, they act like I'm a grown. And if they don't like my manners, then man. Strawberry here? Yep. There's supposed to be a party, but they didn't tell me where or when. Oh? Do you know anything about it? Maybe. Custard, you're being very rude. Am I? What's up with that cat? Oh, hi, Raspberry Tort. What's going on? We're having a party, remember? 
Hey, everybody's here already. They sure are. But why didn't anyone tell me? We didn't want to bother you with those silly good manners. But you can come in as long as you're here. I don't see what manners have to do with it. You should have let me know. Hey, you raspberry. How's it going? Oh, hello. You're all wearing pink dresses. Why didn't anyone tell me I was supposed to wear a pink dress? We didn't think you'd want to be bothered. There aren't any seats left. Well, guess you could sit on the floor if you wanna. <laughs> That's not very polite. There are no manners at this party. Oh, I get it. Super. Huh? Sorry, that's mine. <laughs> hey, a sandwich. Nope, all mine. Cakes. Give me a pastry at least. Oh, well, all right, if you insist. Blueberry? <laughs> that wasn't very nice. Oh, don't be so fussy, Raspberry. Ginger Snap, that was mine. <laughs> what? Could I get one of those pastries? Get it yourself. I'm eating. <gasps> I believe that's mine. Hey, no way. <gasps> Wow! <gasps> Yum! Jam! Mmm, good! Ew! That's gross, Angel K. Oh, that's kind of gross, too. And that's really, really gross. Well, have fun cleaning up. <laughs> See ya. Catch you later. To ta for now. Ciao. Bye bye. Thanks, Strawberry. Um, good party? <gasps> Wrong. That was not a good party. Boy, I sure am glad to be back home. Hmm. What's this? You are invited to a tea party at Blueberry Muffin's house at 4 o'clock today. At least they told me this time. Will you pass the cookies, please, Lemon Meringue? I'd be happy to, Orange Blossom. Oh, I'm sorry, Raspberry. Would you like more cookies? <laughs> cookies? <laughs> Thank you, Lemon Meringue. You're welcome, Orange Blossom. Would you like some more tea, Strawberry Shortcake? Yes, please. Hey, me too. Thank you very much, Blueberry. You're very welcome, Strawberry. I'm glad you're having a good time, Raspberry. Absolutely. <laughs> Which party do you like better, Raspberry? This one or the other? Hey, this one for sure. And why is that, Raspberry? Because I'm getting more food at this one. But is that the only reason, Raspberry? Yeah, pretty much. I think I like this one better, too. It's much nicer if you ask me because we're all using good manners at this party. <laughs> Why do you guys keep harping on that manners stuff? Because manners matter, Raspberry. They do not. Why don't you just keep your silly tea parties? I don't want any part of this. Forget it, I'm going home. Hmm. I don't see what their problem is. Why do manners matter so much to them? I had a great time without bothering with manners. Of course, I didn't get very much to eat at that first tea party, but then there was the second one. They were awful nice at that other one. 
Maybe they're right. Maybe manners do matter. Maybe they really do. I'm sorry for the way I acted, Strawberry. I was being very silly and rude. <laughs> I guess I don't know much about manners and how to act and all. <laughs> I could teach you, Raspberry. Could you? Would you? I'd be happy to. Strawberry, you're the best. <laughs> First thing you do when you sit down, before anything else, is put your napkin on your lap. Like this? I don't tuck it in my shirt like a bib? <laughs> Only if you're eating lobster. Why don't you learn along with us? Everyone can use good manners. Would you like a cookie, Raspberry? Oh, yeah! Actually, you should say, yes, please, and use your table voice, not your outside voice. Yes, please. Remember, one at a time. Oh, of course. One, 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 one. And now you say... Thank you, Strawberry. That's it. And you're very welcome, Raspberry. <laughs> this is kind of fun, huh? Yes, but you shouldn't talk with your mouth full. Would you like a glass of milk? Uh, yeah. I, oh. I mean, yes, please. Thank you. Raspberry. Oh. No slurping, huh? That's right. There's a lot to learn, isn't there? Yes, and here's a rule you may not know. It's not good manners to put your elbows on the table. Oops. <laughs> 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 there, now all I need is a guest or two. Angel cake, it all looks beautiful. It's absolutely perfect, like a picture. Thank you, Angel cake. But where are strawberry and raspberry? Here we are, raspberry. Raspberry, we're so glad you could come. Thank you for inviting me. After you, Strawberry. Thank you, Raspberry. has a good time. I wasn't such a good guest before, and I'm sorry. But now I know how to act, and I promise you'll never regret inviting me ever again. And we'd like to thank you, Raspberry, for your very good manners. Yes. Thank you. Your manners are lovely now. Bravo, Raspberry. You're doing great. I'm impressed. Remember, if you show 
show your good manners, your friends appreciate you all the more. Yes, please. May I? Thank you. Pardon me. But of course. Why, yes. 